Hello guys, what's up? It's Max from SketchUp TV and today we are going to design something. Yeah, this is the first kind of video which are, which I am doing right here because the last videos were all about um, showing you my latest process of uh, designing something. And today I am really talking to you and describing the, the things I, I will do to give you a better understanding of the things, of the steps that we will take. And today we don't, we won't design something, but we will use a new plugin that was just released like last week. And the plugin is called um, Magic Mirror. Magic Mirror is a plugin to create perspective like mockups in Sketch. And what you uh, you know you probably know that from Photoshop. And it has a free version that's available for people who use it uh, non-commercial. But I just uh, donated something for like five dollars um, to get the commercial license. So yeah, what we will do is to create a perspective mockup. And all you need is to download this plugin. If you use it for commercial projects, consider to donate something. Um, then we will need a product mockup, like, an, like a phone or a, a watch, a tablet. And you find that all on SketchUp TV. Go to browse devices and there you will find all the devices that you need. So here you have different devices, Android devices, um, MacBooks, iPhones and I decided to go with this Nexus that's showing up right here. The link will also be in the description. Click on this image and download it from Dribble and open it up in Sketch. The next thing you will need is a screen. So you design something or you can also use a design downloaded from SketchUp TV again. <laughs> You will find several uh, designs here. For example, let's just use this one that I created by myself. Um, I already downloaded this file, so it's just here. Um, I will copy this artboard. Oh, sorry. I will copy the artboard to the Nexus file right here. So we have the artboard and the device in the same file. Let's just uh, replace that a bit. And after downloading the plugin from magicmirror.design, just uh, double click it and it will be automatically installed and it will be right here. So what we will do is you go you, to your device, in my case the Nexus 5, go to the screen and if you don't already have a screen right here then just make one so I will show you both versions this one has a screen already that we will use so I'll just delete all the clutter and all the things we don't really need I guess I can also delete that yeah and so we just have a like, like a nice white screen right here. The next thing you will need to do is to call it, to give it the name of the artboard of your screen. So in my case it's Mobile Portrait. Give it that name <laughs> and guess what? That's it. You just need to go to plugins, magic mirror and then hit magic mirror. And it should do all the magic in a second and place your screen perfectly in there. So that's all, uh, all the things you need to do to 
get your perspective mockup of a product. You can also go like to Unsplash and if you are on an un Unsplash you can just look for a nice photo. Yeah, let's just take this one, looks cool. Copy that into Sketch for a nice background. Take some seconds. And it should be right there. You can add a little plot to the image to make the device stand out more. So, and yeah, that was the easy version, but sometimes you maybe don't have that screen right there. So what you will do is you go to the little insert thing right here, go to vector and just make a new vector by adding these points to every corner of the screen. So then you just create it like a new path. Um, let's just reduce that. So you have a new uh, path right there. You can fill the path. Uh, you can also use a red. And it's like the same thing again. I will just show you the process again. Let's rename it this to one, two, three. Call this uh, layer one, two, three. And that's it. Go to plug and magic mirror, hit magic mirror, and all the magic should happen right here. It's inserted. Sometimes you need to adjust it a little bit because you see you have some um, little border right there, but that's just some, some perfect stuff. Usually it looks really cool. Um, it's a really big step for all sketch users since this was really something that was only available to uh, Photoshop users and uh, I really love the idea and this is just version 1. It came out a week ago and I think if we give the developer of this plugin some time it will even be... If it will be... Yeah, just great, better than it is now because you see it has some little uh, quality loss in the image right here. But... Um, if you scale it down a little bit it's just fine. So that was the first kind of video where you could listen to my voice. If you like this video um, just hit the like button below this video, subscribe to see more. Um, if you have any questions, if you have feedback just comment and I hope I could really help you showing you this plugin that's just awesome. Donate something to the plugin developer and see you next time for the next video about sketch, designing in sketch and getting better, being a better designer. <laughs> Thanks for your time, enjoy the next videos, see you guys.